Hi everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you guys the things that we bought on our vacation. We celebrated our 30th anniversary and we went to Italy. We flew into Rome and then took the train to Florence and spent four nights in Florence and then took the train back to Rome and spent three nights there. And we had a wonderful time, you know, did all the sightseeing things and also did some shopping. Gotta do some shopping. <laughs> We've been to Italy last year. We went to Milan and the Lake Como area. And that Lake Como is just beautiful. Beautiful. And I know you're thinking, okay, Italy twice in a year almost. Because we went in March last year and then we just came back last week. Um, I'm going to tell you this this uh, web page or this Facebook page that I follow. It's called Cheap DFW. And I'll put the link down below and they'll let us know if there's a flash sale from flights leaving Dallas Fort Worth. And I believe they started now doing flights out of Houston, Austin and San Antonio, Chicago and New York. I believe so. But I'll put everything down below so you can see. And when we went to Milan last year, I saw that they uh, that it was Delta. Delta had a flash sale DFW to Milan for $432 round trip per person. Okay. You know, it was during off times. Our kids are grown, so we didn't have to worry about them. So we went like in the last week of March. And I bought some things from there then that I finished that I wanted to buy now. So flash forward, you know, several months later, we knew our 30th anniversary was coming up. So we wanted to plan a trip. This is the first time we've ever taken a trip on our anniversary. And with it being 30th, why not? So I would keep checking the emails that uh, that they were sending me. And there's, you know, during the time we'd see from, you know, August to October, DFW to Paris or to New York or to Hawaii. So we wanted to go in January. So I kept waiting. And then there was one that was, I believe, new January through March. And it was to, I don't know, it was someplace in Europe. I believe it was in Rome. And so it was through Delta. So as I was going on the Delta website, you know, I was booking it. I was looking. They had like 20 flights from DFW to Rome. And then by the time I picked one and it went for the return flight, the sale just went away. It went back to what, I don't know, $2,000 round trip. It's like, nope. <laughs> nope. We can wait. So finally, one did show up and it was with American Airlines round trip to Rome for like, I don't know, $4.90. So it's like, okay. So I was able to find the dates that we wanted to go. It was for a week and round trip per person. Round trip. It was $519 from DFW to Rome with one stop. Happy anniversary. <laughs> So, alas, that's how, you know, we find these deals. And, you know, that's a great website to look at. It's on Facebook. They're on Twitter. I don't have Twitter, so I don't follow it through them. But I follow it through Facebook and through email updates. And you can also check their websites. But again, I'll, I'll link everything down below if you live near those cities. So, we went and we had a wonderful time. Again, we flew into Rome and then we took the train to Florence. And it was during the off season, so it wasn't as crowded as, say, during the summertime or spring break. You know, we saw beautiful things. We saw, you know, we went to the, I believe it was the Academia. We saw the Statue of David. We saw the Duomo in Florence. And oh my gosh, it's just amazing. I mean, it's amazing what they built six, seven hundred years ago with the tools that they had at the time. I mean, it's just beautiful. Just walking down the streets, eating, drinking, eating again. <laughs> but, and we also did shopping. So that's here what I'm going to show you. And maybe some pictures of things that we saw too. Now, the first time that we went, when we went to Milan, I did buy this rose water and we finished it. I'm, I'm almost done with our second bottle 
And here it is right here. Here's here's the second bottle that uh, we bought during the first, you know, trip back last last year. And here it is right here. So I wanted to buy more of this. I read up on it. Now let me read it to you from the website because I want to make sure I say it the right way. Indeed. Now the rose water that we wanted to get, it's, and we also got some other things too. It's from this church. It is called the Santa Maria Novella and it is in Florence. And it's probably one of the oldest pharmacies around. It's a 600 year old establishment which still uses ancient recipes to make its modern day perfumes and skincare products. Now the, the church, the Santa Maria Novella, we did see it, it's beautiful. We didn't go inside it. I don't know why we didn't go inside it, but, but kind of like the next street over, that's where the pharmacy is, where you buy the things. And what it is, is that the Dominican friars, they arrived in Florence at the beginning of the 13th century and converted the church of Santa Maria Novella into a monastery in the adjoining cloister and started cultivating medicinal herbs and dispensing balms, ointments, and other herbal remedies to the convent's infirmary. It says here, the pharmacy came into prominence in the early 16th century thanks to Catherine de' Medici, daughter of the most powerful fam family of Renaissance Florence, to commemorate her marriage at age 14 to Henry II, the future king of France, the monks of Santa Maria Novella created a special perfume named Aqua della Regina, Water of the Queen. Okay, now the perfume is still available and it's been renamed to Aqua de Santa Maria Novella. Under, you know, the Queen's uh, patronage, the pharmacy's reputation spread. So in 1612, it opens its doors to the public. And most of the flowers and herbs used in production today are sourced from the pharmacy's own garden. It really is a remarkable place. Now the pharmacy is kind of like the next street over from the church and pretty much you wouldn't know it when you walk by. It just looks like any other entrance. But when you walk in, oh my gosh, you know, you're walking in like this hallway. It's just beautiful. And you know, you walk in some more and it, it really doesn't look like a pharmacy. In one section, they'll have the counter where you can buy the rose water and uh, body wash. And another section, you can buy soaps. And then you walk into another room, and there they have potpourri. And then you walk into another room, and there you have their supplements and vitamins and oils and elixirs. So, sorry about the long history lesson, but it's just important. I just thought it was really neat. We went in there and we went ahead and bought two of them again. <laughs> we bought two more. Then my husband wanted to, he smelled this body wash, so he wanted this one. And this one is rose and gardenia, so he wanted this one. <laughs> so we bought a body wash and a lotion. This lotion, it's called Crema Adrasol. Here it is right here. And it does smell wonderful. I mean, let me uncover it here. Oh my gosh, it smells heavenly. It smells very clean, very, very nice, very nice. And I did see on their website that they did have some stores in, I believe in New York. I believe in New York. So again, I'll list everything down below. And let's see, we bought some soaps. I love their soaps. Their soaps. Their soaps, I don't know, when when I use them, they don't, you know, get all glumpy and gooey. They just stay the same firmness until they pretty much dissolved. So we bought a rose soap and a gardenia and a potpourri soap. And these make great gifts, also great uh, hostess gifts. And then I smelled this soap right here, this one smells like almond and it smells delicious <laughs> i mean it smells delicious so and then the lady behind the soap counter she gave us a couple of samples and here they are right here and it was really neat the samples was kind of like in a log and she just cut a piece kind of like in the old school elementary school when they cut the paper you know the little hacksaw type thing i guess <laughs> <laughs> I took a picture and I'll put that in there here too. 
All right. Now then we went to Sephora. Or I went to Sephora. And, you know, you got to go to Sephora when you're in a, in a different place. And, you know, they pretty much have the same things there that we have here, except for a couple things. I did went ahead and I bought the Huda Beauty foundation. Here is the bottle right here, and it's the foundation I'm wearing right now. And this one is in the shade, let's see here, 350G, Dolce de Leche. And I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's, it's a matte finish. So we'll see how this one goes. This is probably the second time I've worn this. So we'll see how that goes. And also, another thing I couldn't find here in the States, it's by Zoeva. It's brushes. I've always wanted to try some of their brushes and some of their makeup, but they didn't have the makeup that I that I wanted from there. And it comes in this, you know, nice little bag. And here are their brushes by Zoeva. So it comes in a tin, tin brush set. Then we saw this makeup store and they had some Chanel and they had some Chanel on sale. So I got two items. I got a eyeshadow and a lipstick. Let me show you here. And this is the number, let's see, what's the number? 278. Here are the colors right here, real pretty. And then I also got this lipstick, and this lipstick is in the number 174. And that's a real pretty color. That means Chanel on sale. Let me, let me swatch this one here for you. There it is right there. Then I saw that they also had the Balm Cosmetics. I bought the eyeshadow, the Meat Matte Nude, and really nice. Here it is right here. And then I bought Cabana Boy, which is a blush. This real pretty pink, or dark pink. Let me swatch that. I mean, look, look how pretty that would look. That's real pretty. Also from there, I also bought Sisley. And Sisley is expensive, but it was cheaper there. It was, you know, not that much cheaper, but you don't pay tax on it. This one, I've been seeing it all over YouTube. It is the Eye Contour Mask. So over here, this eye mask from Sisley Paris, which I've seen, you know, all over YouTube, it cost here $145. When I bought it there, it was 105 euros, and it converts to $130. So $15 cheaper and no tax. Hey, that's a good deal right there. And I also bought the hand cream. I don't think you can see it from the brightness, but I love the scent of this hand cream. This one's kind of like a, a splurge <laughs> for hand cream from Sicily Paris, but it smells wonderful. It smells wonderful. Next, we went to Pharmacia and Really, it's a really neat place. Love the stuff that they have there. They also have the um, the micellar water, the bioderma there. But I could find it here and it's the same price, so I passed on that one. But I did see the Nux. I believe that's how you say it. Nux? Nuxy? But, anywho, I, uh, I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. But I got the body scrub and I got the body oil which which smells nice and she also gave me a couple of samples which was really nice a couple of samples of the body cream now let me show you this one here before i get to the, the this big bag here when we left rome we had a layover in london so we had the duty free shops there and i saw that they had sk2 i was looking all over rome for this but i didn't see it so when i saw it in england in the london heathrow airport I got this one. Um, this is the uh, Facial Treatment Essence. And let me tell you, I love this. It, I have a sample that I got, a deluxe sample that I got from the Sephora Favorites. And I started using it. And it's going to show up in my favorites. And, you know, I was just using drop, drop, drop because I saw how much it cost. And it's quite pricey. Quite pricey. But when I saw that it cost over there... 97 English pounds and when I converted it it was $130 I bought this with even with no tax on it either because here for the same amount it cost $179 
So we are saving some money here. So this is what it looks like. So I bought this at the airport and she gave me a sample of the lotion too, which was really nice. I'm back. The camera got hot, so I had to turn it off and let it cool down. But now, where was I? Yes, I was talking about this bag right here. Kiko. Kiko is an Italian cosmetic cos uh, company, and they have stores everywhere. Everywhere. It's kind of like, I don't know, how would you compare it to maybe kind of like NYX, NYX, or ELF. It's real, real inexpensive. Really nice. And I bought some mascaras from the last trip that we went last year. So I wanted to go back and get some more mascara, eyeliners, and see what else they have. Okay, this one's the Eyes and Cheek Palette. I think this is the most expensive thing here. It was like 9 euros. So we got those. Okay, I took them out of their boxes. Let's see here. After the Eye and Cheek Palette, I got two more eyeshadow. And this little cute little mauve purpley combo right here. Let me swatch the, uh, the purple ones for you. And here's the purple ones. Look at that. Real pretty. And also this right here. Kind of like a bronzer and a highlighter. Let's see here. Real pretty. Look at that. And then I bought three lipsticks. This one's right here. I think you just push this button here and it pops out. Yes, okay. <laughs> this right here, and this is in the shade, okay, I need my glasses. This is in the shade Emotion. Emotion, Emotion, let's see what this one looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, and then another lipstick here. This one's called Passion, Velvet Passion. And this one, you pull it out. Ooh, that's real pretty right there and there it is and then the third one here it's called let me lots oh it's in the shade yeah let me knots oh look at that that one's shaped like a heart <laughs> can you see that all right and it's a real pretty nude color right here right there so those are the three lipsticks I bought let's see here and two lip pencils 305 and 416. Ooh, nice and soft. 305 and 416. And then three eye pencils. I love my black eyeliner. I really do. And I bought this one before and I really like it. This one's called the Everlasting Call. And it's a really nice, nice dark black right there. And then this one here, it's called Deep Black. And it comes really neat. The lady there said that this one's really good to line the inside the waterline. And that's what it looks like. And I said, I'm, and I asked, how, how do you sharpen it? She said, it just stays like this. There it is right there. It's nice. And this one here, this one's called the Lasting Precision. Precision. And this one comes with a smudger at the end. And this one's what it looks like here. I believe this one's a twisty one. And that, oh, it broke already. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Well, that one was kind of a dud. Does it come? Okay, there's more. I won't bring it out so high. <laughs> but there it is right there. And I also bought this bronzer. Real pretty. And also lip gloss. This right here. And this is in the shade number 18. There it is right there. Real pretty. All right. Yes, and that's all the makeup I got from Kiko. Oh, wait. I have a mascara. I have a mascara. This one's called the Extra Sculpt. I like the, the case. I didn't get this one last year. And there's the, the wand. So I'll be tempted to try that one soon. All right. So those are the... The makeup that I got from Kiko and pretty much everything else. Now let me show you the clothes I bought. Let me wipe my hands before I go further. I don't want to dirty up my clothes. All right, now let me show you the clothes. Now in Italy, when they have sales, it's not like here in the U.S. where the stores can just have a sale whenever they want. I found this out over there. 
In Italy, they have sales twice a year, once in January and another in July. And we just happen to be there during the month of January. So pretty much all the stores had sales. So that was a really nice surprise. So the first store that we went to is called Twin Set, and I bought uh, several things from there. And I'm going to be modeling them for you. I'm going to hopefully put the video here or over me. And please be kind. I am not a model. <laughs> please be kind. And to give you a little information, I'm five foot seven, and I weigh between 140 to 145 pounds, which after this trip, I'm more closer to the 145. <laughs> I mean, I, I've got to be—I got to be honest here. And so I probably would run a medium in some, and depending on on the size or the brand. Now, the first thing here, the one I will not model for you by itself, is a slip, <laughs> and it's a little spaghetti strap, you know, form-fitting slip. And what's nice about it, it has like this lace at the bottom. And I bought this so I can wear it underneath this dress that I'm going to show you here, which I will model for you. And it's this real pretty, you know, it, it's polyester, and this is in a size medium. But it's, it's black with these real pretty um, beige roses on it. And it has a, you know, really nice lace up here in the V-neck, and it has a tie around the neck. I believe that's in now where there's something around the neck. You know, it's long sleeve and it has pockets. I love a dress, anything with pockets. I think that makes makes it nice. It makes makes it easier. But I really like this. And then I bought this jacket, this long jacket that you can kind of layer over it. And it's real pretty. Now this one does not have pockets, which is okay, which is okay. But it's real pretty when you layer it with the slip and the dress and then put this over it. And, you know, it's like a cardigan, has buttons up in the front. And there's that. And then the other thing I bought from Twin Set is another dress. And it's, you know, this real cute dress. And again, this one has pockets. And I believe this is a size medium also. And what's cute is the sleeves. This is the first time I have anything with these bell sleeves. I really like And I really like the colors. Dark colors are my type of colors I tend to go to <laughs> but and it's all on sale everything I got here was pretty much all on sale the clothes the next two items here I went to another store and it's from a place called Luisa Spagnoli I believe here's the tag right there and first of all I'm wearing this sweater right here really pretty turtleneck this real pretty fall color, it's really keeping me warm. And it's been cold here in, in Dallas. And I really like it. I really like the color. What drawn me was the color. And then the next thing here, I hardly wear blue. For some reason, blue, I don't know. Something about blue. But then I saw this and, and it was unique. So I bought this top. And I like the collar, and I like, you know, the gold accents on it. So that one was really pretty. That one's really pretty. This is going to be a difficult color for me to wear, but I'll try it. I will try it. All right, there's that. And then I didn't get the kids and my husband something. I mean, you got to get them something here. <laughs> This from this place is called Cash, Cashmere Italy, and I really like the bag. I'm going to reuse the bag. Love my reusable bags. And come to found, find out, this is a cashmere blend, which is okay. They're happy with it. They'll be happy with it. <laughs> For my husband, Shellcat, this cardigan sweater right here, and it was 50% off. I mean, hey, it's really nice. And then for Luke, we got him the same thing, but in black. He's like me. He likes dark colors. And so is our, Chris, our daughter, Christian. She likes dark colors, too. Um, so we got him the same thing, a cardigan. And then for Christian, she already came and got her stuff. Uh, she, we got her um, 
a scarf, a cashmere scarf from the same place. Okay, now let me show you the bags, the handbags. Oh my gosh. Come to find out that Florence is known for their leather, so I wanted to buy some leather bags. You know, I googled best place to buy leather in Florence, and this store right here called Binhart popped up, and we went to the store. Actually, we didn't go to the store in Florence, but we went to this town called Luca. First, we went to the town of Pisa, you know, to take our, you know, our obligatory picture of holding up the Leaning Tower. <laughs> so you got to do that. Then we took the train from Pisa to Luca, and Luca is a walled-in city, and it's a beautiful, beautiful, quaint village. Beautiful. The food is good. The shopping was good. We wanted to climb, you know, this tower that was there but we got lost but we found these these little roads with shops <laughs> by the time we got to the tower that we wanted to climb they were closed oh well save it for next time right but we found this store called binhart we found it in luca which their main store is in florence but since we were there we, we went ahead and just went in and found this handbag oh my gosh this is such a beautiful bag. Again, I'm going to model it for you. And it's all handmade in Italy. Really neat. He has a few stores. I think he wants to open one in New York, too. But hopefully he will, because I definitely would like to go buy some more of his stuff. But here's one of the handbags. Real pretty brown. Oh, and again, it's made all handmade in Italy. Which pretty much is near Florence. I think that's where he, he makes them. And it comes with a nice oops, zipper. There's the inside of it. That's what it looks like. And it has a zipper in here. And they put my initials inside, which was really neat, which was really nice. And it comes with two little pockets on the outside when you open up the flap. And let me close the flap here. And it comes with a zipper on the outside here, too. And I really like this bag. I really like this bag. And also from there, I bought some shoes. Yeah, I had to buy some leather shoes from Italy. A real pretty, you know, little casual type flats or little casual type Snickers, Snickers, sneakers. <laughs> and he was also able to put my initials, yes, my initials on the shoe too, which was really nice. And this is a size 42. Yes, I have big feet. And also, my husband did buy some stuff from there, too. He bought this belt, which they also put his initials, his initials right there. Real pretty belt, all, all handmade there in Italy. And he also got a wallet, which was kind of odd, especially the color for him. But he got a green wallet, and they also put his initials on here, too, which was really nice. Um, and there, there it is right here inside. Nothing in here yet. Now for wallets, I also, I always like to put a lucky dollar in there. Since the euro, their dollar or one euro is a coin, I'm going to put a US dollar in here. And I always like to sign it, a little message and date it. And they keep it in their wallet. So, but this is a really nice wallet. I was surprised he picked green. So he got that. And then we were walking by, still, we're still in the town of Luca. So we're walking by. And I saw these bags. Oh my gosh. Now, I don't know how to pronounce this store. There's the name right there. Okay. I'm not going to even try to say that. <laughs> but look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? So, you know, I've been kind of like into these crossbody bags. But I love the colors and I love the emboss work on here too. And I also got another one kind of like this one, but in a different color. And it's this one right here, this real pretty gold, yellow gold here. Real pretty. Oh, it's got a little outside on this bag. It's got a little outside pocket with a zipper and you open it up and two little sections in here with another zipper inside. But and they had, I wish I took a picture of the store from the outside because they have red, 
they have blue, light blue, dark blue, kind of like a cream color. They have shoes with the same kind of print. But I just bought these two bags, that's all. But it's just different, it's just different. All right, one more thing that we bought. I'm just gonna show it to you. Wine. <laughs> we bought wine. We had, to, we had to bring some wine home. I mean, come on. <laughs> you could probably find this cheaper here in the States, but you know, you gotta bring home some wine. And then this one here, I've never... Now the lady said this is a sweet wine. The almond biscotti, you're supposed to dunk the almond biscotti in here. So I thought, okay, let's try it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm showing my true colors, am I? <laughs> yeah. Okay, anywho, well that was our anniversary trip. And actually on our anniversary, we did go to see the Vatican. And I wanna show you a picture of us in the Vatican. And it, it was just, the Vatican is just a wonderful place. There's no words. You walk in and you're just in awe of what man built hundreds of years ago. I mean, it's, I'm speechless. We're, we're not Catholic. So, and I wonder if I could say this, we're, we are Coptic Orthodox, which is similar to Catholic. You walk in and it's just magnificent. And... You know, we went inside the Vatican Museum. We saw the Sistine Chapel. Can't, can't show you pictures there because we didn't take any. They wouldn't let us take pictures there. We had a wonderful dinner for our anniversary. You know, we were just enjoying being together and just having a relaxing, wonderful time. I'm just very thankful that we were able to go there for our anniversary and to be together. But, anywho, well, all right. Well, that is the stuff that we bought from Italy on our anniversary trip. And I hope this video isn't too long. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And thank you guys for watching. You all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Ciao.